Question three from 2007 is a two-point perspective birdhouse. Now, the whole point of this exercise uh, was to use the orthogonal drawing as your reference to create a two-point perspective drawing of a birdhouse. There are no dimensions given, so you had to create a well-proportioned drawing. The key here is proportion according to the orthogonal drawing. Using the two-point perspective drawing system, you are requested to complete the drawing using the existing horizon line and making clear uh, the two vanishing points on either side of the page. Always begin by understanding what is required of you and closely studying the reference drawing, in this case the orthogonal. And of course, during your 15 minutes of reading time before you actually begin the exam, this is what you should be doing with questions. You would have noticed that the birdhouse is made of five parts. The walls, or the main body, um, is in fact a square. And knowing this will help you actually begin the drawing confidently. The height of the roof is a little shorter than the height of the body, and the rim is almost half the thickness of the base. Finally, take note of the location of the birdhouse, especially the body, meaning the walls. It's important to understand what portion is below the horizon and what is above the horizon. This understanding will determine where you place your first line in your actual drawing. So it's important to understand exactly how far above and below uh, the actual object is according to the horizon. Again, you're only estimating, so it looks like it's a, a third below, two thirds above, and um, just replicate that and you've got your viewpoint. Now there are two ways of, of making this drawing. You can, you can either use a crate, um, but there'd be so many projection lines created that it's going to be quite confusing. So what I would do is just do this piecemeal, one thing at a time, starting with the walls or the main body. Now, we understand um, that one third of, the, the, of that body is below, two thirds above the horizon. So we draw that in, in the middle. That way you're having the same depth on either side. So now we're ready to actually uh, do our first projection lines to the, to the vanishing points. Now, once we have those, we need to determine its depth. The depth of these side walls can't be the same as the height because they diminish in size as they go towards their vanishing points. So estimate the wall depth uh, to be a little shorter in length than the actual height of that body. We can now proceed um, with creating um, a cube as a glass box. This is going to be very important because we need to uh, place the rim and the base not only above and below, but around the actual box. So what we're going to do is create rear projection lines. And now we have this kind of glass box. Now at this point, it's very, very important that you uh, erase your initial projection lines to the vanishing points because there'll be so many uh, projection lines which may cause a lot of confusion. Now we can um, continue with our drawing uh, by putting in um, the roof. The roof shares the same alignment as the corner of that box. So just continue it upward and then stop it at a suitable height and then draw from either side. Remembering that the roof um, proportionally is a little shorter than the height of that uh, body. And don't forget, there will also be the rim that will be going below that roof. It's time now to put a third part to this birdhouse. Uh, we may do the, uh, the top rim, and um, by putting the rim in, you'll get a better feel for the height of the roof being a bit more accurate, because right now it looks a little tall. Now, um, we know that the rim is half the, the, the thickness or height of the base. So, and also it's above the horizon, therefore we're going to see underneath it. Um, and just estimate its location, as long as you can see some of, uh, as if you can imagine underneath the rim, then draw projection lines 
from the um, the top and bottom. So now that is the height of our rim, and we can also now see below the rim. That looks about right. Uh, we need now just to cut off its depth. And um, once we've cut off the depth, now we can put the rear projection lines into place. Because we have these rear projection lines on the box, this transparent box, we can locate, accurately locate the rear projection lines of the rim. Consequently, we can place the rear projection lines of the rim in the right location. So it will look like they're going around the cube. So they're going to be sh shown a little below either side of those depth lines of the cube. Right, now we're ready to put the base into place and we're just following the same principles as the rim. We know that the base is below the horizon, therefore we're going to see above it meaning the top plane or the top surface. So place the corner according to the same uh, alignment or axis as the roof, the rim and the body of the birdhouse. Now with our corner in place, we can um, put in our projection lines to the vanishing points. And now for the depth lines. With our depth lines in place, now we can put the rear projection lines, taking into account the transparent box and that we make sure that we are behind um, the rear of that box. Now, before we move on to the pole, we should really deal with a tricky part of this design, which is the um, opening uh, for the bird to get into the birdhouse. And this requires some basic knowledge of drawing circles in perspective. So we have to determine first how far away from the edge um, uh, we begin our opening. Again, it's an estimation. Uh, you're not required to be exact on this. So um, let's just start with a line. And um, then what we have to do is create a box or a square in perspective. And um, we'll start this by creating projection lines the bottom projection line is giving us the third side of our uh, perspective square in which we will be drawing the circle. We can just approximate um, a square in perspective and the far side of the opening. We can now uh, proceed with making a, a, um, a circle in perspective and of course we need to find the centre and um, th we do this by going from corner to corner and then going from the middle to the vanishing point. Now, once we have that information, we can now make an arc that intersects the diagonals two thirds of the way up. Now, um, we need to clear any unnecessary lines because we need to have some clarity in this little tight spot, which is the, um, the opening. We're going to create a depth to that wall. A thickness. So we're going to basically uh, echo the front of the opening to the back. But we need to do this by following a projection line at the very bottom here all the way to the vanishing point. So it makes sense with the rest of the design. So um, it should look a little like this where you have this arc repeated here and um, this line the diagonal showing the depth is aligned with the vanishing point all that remains now is the pole and we center that according to that central axis and um, and we are done all that is required now is to darken up uh, the lines which make up the design and erase any um, of the faint draft lines. And all you have to do is now to render according to the various materials of which this particular birdhouse is constructed.